tuple will just create a tuple okay so we have i've taken up a file wherein i'm gonna create a tuple okay i'm gonna create a tuple that is a number one so one comma two comma three comma four comma eight seven okay so this is my tuple okay once i do that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a print statement right in my print statement what i'm gonna do i'll just take up a tuple name that is tup followed by the indexing should be you know square brackets then print tuple name then one print two print three i'll just take it for only few numbers okay one two three i'll just uh, take it as ten twenty zero three forty five six fifty eight okay uh one two three four five okay one more print and then tap four hmm. so i have taken up now this is nothing but i am trying to access the numbers right so what happens if i try to access the element wherein i have not stored any of the element okay now here i have not created any element right hmm? now i'll just run this see here index error tuple index out of range so where is it showing it is showing here just check here index it has given all the elements 10 20 39 46 58 but when it comes to your print tuple 10 index error tuple index out of range it means that i have not given the number right i'll just rename this i mean add up again hmm. now i'll give it as 5 and then i'll add up a number i'll just read on this so yes so this is how you access a tuple elements okay now coming back to another one okay so what happens like can i access a number for example i want to give it as your minus 3 okay so what happens if i write it as minus 3 just check out there when i specify minus 3 it is going to give the last but see here what is my first element zeroth element 0 1 2 3 4 5 totally five elements are there i am going to i am trying to access a minus 3 element okay when i say minus 3 this is 1 2 and 3 so minus 3 element is nothing but 46 so 46 is has got printed up over there so i hope the things are clear now now after this what i am going to do is uh we saw about negative indexing right so negative indexing is nothing but uh, you are trying to access the last elements that is the tuple element can also be accessed by using a negative indexing the index of minus 1 denotes the rightmost element and minus 2 to the second last element and so on so minus 1 denotes the rightmost element and 
minus 2 indicates the last but second element and so on okay so i was trying to access the minus 3 minus 3 is nothing but here just check out the minus 3 is nothing but first minus 1 element minus 2 element and minus 3 so when i say minus 3 46 was accessed over there i hope the things are clear okay so that is how you access the number with the help of your negative indexing so uh, to add up a point again the elements from the left to right are transfers transversed using the negative indexing okay and now deleting a tuple okay so can we delete a tuple we'll just see so unlike list the tuple elements items cannot be deleted by using a delete keyword as tuples are immutable we have already discussed right so let us see another example like what happens if we use a delete keyword with a tuple name so i'm gonna just create a another file that is python file that is tuple underscore delete python okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna take up a tuple tuple tup1 is equals to 23 comma okay, 23 comma 45 comma 56 comma 78 comma 19 so this is my tuple right so this is how i create my tuple so what i'll do next i'll try to print that particular tuple so print tuple one okay tap one okay after this what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna delete it i'll use a delete keyword yes after that what i'm gonna do i'll say it as delete tap one and then accessing is done with the help of your index number right so i'll try to delete a zeroth element which is nothing but your 23 right so when i say 23 okay so again i'll try to print up the after deleting it has to print the same tuple okay so tuple one okay after that i'll delete whole of the tuple itself so is it possible just, well let us just check over there so print then again tap one right so just check out here i'll just try to delete uh, run the program okay trace back hmm. so what is it saying trace back most recent call last it has printed all the elements first due to first i printed out but when i try to delete a tuple one that is zeroth element tuple one object does not support item deletion it means that i cannot delete a tuple number but what if i take up it to a to be a list what happens can i delete it see that it has got deleted up over there right i was i was able to delete it right just check out i tried deleting it and the zeroth element was nothing but your 23rd element a 23rd element right 23rd as an item so it got deleted and 45 56 78 and 90 got printed up so this is how so you so that is why i say your tuples are immutable whereas your lists are mutable and tuples are denoted or enclosed in terms with a parenthesis whereas your lists are enclosed in a square bracket okay so that was about your deletion of your tuple okay mm, fine then to uh, we have seen the basic operations on your tuple that is your reputation concatenation membership and iteration and we can compare the tuple as well okay so we shall see them in the 
for the videos.